The 80-20 rule is famous in the world of business and economics. It's the idea that underpins the imbalance in the relationship between inputs and outputs. The rule states that 80% of outputs come from just 20% of inputs. Another name for it is the Pareto Principle, a name many an economics student will recognise. Vilfredo Pareto observed that 20% of the pea pods in his garden were providing 80% of the peas. He then expanded his observation into the macroeconomic world, noticing that 80% of Italian wealth came from 20% of the Italian population. It's the idea of cause and consequence, showing that the majority often comes from the minority. It's commonplace when thinking about global wealth. In the UK, the top 1% of earners have control of 21% of the UK's entire wealth, which acts as a good example for the principle. However, it is just that. A principle. An observation. Not a law. It doesn't apply to everything, but it can be applied and expanded to lots of industries. So, at EntreConnect, we look at it in the world of business, social media marketing, and content creation. Here's the 80-20 model explained. As the 80-20 model can be applied to a multitude of different industries and concepts generally, there are a variety of iterations of the model itself. A name that so often comes up in the entrepreneurial world, love it or hate it, is Gary Vaynerchuk. While Gary V is known for his hustling, grafting, and any other motivational buzzwords available, he also knows how to leverage social platforms for a business. Naturally, he calls his rule the 7921 rule, because he likes to be different and or difficult depending on your opinion of it. His idea revolves around focusing the most on the social platform that receives the most traction. While he prides himself on being on every available social outlet – Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, TikTok, and his own blog – Instagram is the one on which he receives the most engagement. Many influencers or businesses get big on a single platform, live the high life for a while, and then fall fast when the platform fails. Look at Vine as a prime example. The ones who survived are the ones who diversified, and now you'll find them on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. The whole need for Gary Vee's rule is to provide long-term business security. It fits the Pareto principle through the understanding that one platform will provide the majority of the benefit. Instagram is a small percentage of the input, given other platforms available, and it will provide the majority of the output. That's the standard 80-20. However, the numbers aren't actually related to that. You focus 79% of your energy on your main platform, and the other 21% is keeping the rest of your profiles comfortably afloat. That's a key thing to notice in many of the 80-20 iterations you see. It's actually just coincidence that 80% and 20% add up to 100%, or in this case 79 and 21. That has nothing to do with Pareto's initial observation, though it has become a staple in application to other industries, as seen here. Keep an eye out for that. The 80-20 content rule is another one that comes up often. Due to the variety of options available with the 80-20 model, it can become hard to understand. There's two iterations just within content itself, marketing and happiness. Let me explain. In business, the 80-20 rule is applied to the content used for social media marketing. Once again, the numerical misunderstanding exists. According to this rule, 80% of your content should go towards informing, educating and entertaining your audience. The other 20% should be for specific business promotion. It just means that the majority of the time you shouldn't be actively promoting your business, but building your brand image through different streams of content. In this format, the way it actually applies to the Pareto Principle is that your 20% of input into the self-promotion is the thing that will bring the majority of your output. However, it's vastly important to have other forms of content there to keep customers happy. No one likes it when a company is just selling to you. At least flirt with the customer a little first. In terms of happiness, you look to content creators. Think of the input as effort into producing content and the output as happiness. The problem is that you have to serve your audience to make a living, as your audience dictates the money you make from your content. However, if you spend all your time bowing down to your audience, you're not 100% happy with or interested in your own content. So, only 80% of your content should serve your audience. The other 20% should be for yourself. The effort you put into this is only 20% of your total. However, it gives you the majority of your happiness. Once again, showing just how versatile the Pareto principle is and just how much we like to assume the 80-20 rule has to add up to 100. The versatility allows me to think of my own 80-20 rule for EntreConnect. You can try doing this in your own life as well and leave a comment if you have. My assumption is that the most benefit overall will come from helping small businesses. It benefits us by gaining more traction from real-life videos telling the stories of these businesses and their processes. 
It benefits me as the filming days and experiences I receive from the businesses I work with are much more exciting and really break up the monotony that constant content creation occasionally offers. Finally, it benefits small businesses as they can tell their story, get their name out there, and we provide them with an edited version to use as their own promotional video. While it's only a small amount of the content and work we want to be doing, it's what will bring the most overall success for the business, and so it's what we will focus the most energy on. The minority of our content will create the majority of our engagement and hopefully success. Thus, a true 80-20 rule.